I'm trying to do a fucking video. Shit. All right, we're doing behind the neck jerk today. We back squatted 250 yesterday. So I am a little... Actually, no, I'm not. I'm fucking fine, dude. Everything's fine. We're gonna behind the neck jerk as much as we can. Last week we did 205, which is a PR. I don't really know how I did that, but we're gonna try to do at least something within five kilos of that this week. And that's fucking all we're doing today. I'm gonna do some upper body work after, but I'm gonna put a good 45 minutes into these jerks. Really try to milk something special out of this session. The squat cycle is over. I finished it. And my squat went from 215, which is what I tested it at before I started the squat program, to 250. And the 250 was much easier than the 215. So that's 35 kilos in a month just from squatting and being a responsible adult. So if you guys wanna get your squat strong, there's your fucking proof. It's there. All you gotta do is click the link down there and get it. Yeah, this is an ad in the first fucking two minutes. But with that being said, we're gonna jerk. Heavy as shit. Feeling a little weird today. Should I max this out? On uh, last Tuesday, I did 70, 20, 50, did singles at all those, and then had like 27 misses between 190 and 205. So I'm actually gonna get my timing dialed in. That way I don't have to gas myself out at these heavy weights in order to make them. These plates are wet, so humid. It's been eating, dude. Not shitting. You eat a lot of food and you don't shit, guarantee you'll gain weight. Just slowing down my dip a lot today. Go! 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 
Overdrove it. Oh, oh. So, I am not going to be attempting that a third time. That feels completely different. I thought 200 was like a weird weight when you get it on your back. It like kind of whips uncontrollably. 210 is like different. Like, you hit the bottom of the dip and you expect the bar to like whip back up and it's just like, no, nah, we're gonna hang out down here. So the timing's way different. That's gonna be one I'm gonna have to earn. It's not really gonna be a fluke PR on a max out day. It's gonna be something I have to like achieve by design. It's not just gonna happen. So we're not gonna do that again. It's a, not a great idea to take a lot of jerk attempts because that aggressive change of direction in the bottom of the dip is pretty rough on your uh, tendons in your knees so we're gonna chalk it up 200 was easy 200 feels like kind of a mindless heavy weight on the behind the neck jerk now which is cool because like a month ago that was like the shit like if i could do 200 it's i'm in phenomenal shape and now i hit 200 i'm like okay what's next so that's progress alone got up to 90 without a miss had a couple fluke misses at 200 and then we made it easily so I'm happy with that. Now you guys get to watch me military press and you're going to get awfully confused. Oh yeah. Ugh. We will never be able to press 50% of our jerk. It's not, I'm 15 kilos away. Fuck. I like to do some sort of pull down or something that engages the lats after doing like heavy overhead stuff like we just did. I don't think you can get heavier than that in one day. But the reason for that is going overhead works everything on your delts and your traps so much to where if you're not balanced and kind of give you the fucking nerd neck that you get when your traps are super tight. So if you balance it by blowing up the lats afterwards, decompresses the shoulders a little bit. I'm so fucking out of breath, dude. Decompresses your shoulders, makes things feel a little more neutral when you leave the gym. I'll get tension headaches like a motherfucker if I don't do some sort of pull down after a heavy jerk. Just holding a bar right here and just like fucking squeezing, it hurts, it sticks around for a while. the fucking stack as I'm a dog. We're gonna try to get, try to get 10 at 200 pounds. And then we'll do one drop set and be done. Have cleans tomorrow. The last thing you wanna do when you have cleans is pull up to the gym with really sore lats. So that'll fuck up your front rack, which will fuck up your wrist and it'll fuck up your day. And it could fuck up your week. 
and then you know how it goes. And then you're jobless, fucking eating ramen on the floor. So make sure lads are nice and full of blood. You don't wanna leave the gym without a wide back. If you have a slender, narrow back and you're leaving the gym, people are gonna be like, oh my God, what did he look like when he walked in here? That's what we're trying to avoid. And to that guy that messaged me on Instagram, said that the way I look has helped him beat his body dysmorphia. I've never been so flattered and pissed off at the same time. So my goal for 2024 is to never get a comment like that again. I'm gonna be jacked. That's a Tuesday. And the next part is you guys are going to check out these stores and if they appeal to you, there's a code you can use and that code is Dozer and those stores are Barbell Apparel, best clothes there are, Gorilla Mine, best supplements there are, Sub-Zero Plunge, best ice bath there is, and Onyx, the best straps, wrist straps and belts there are. So use the code if you want. I want you to, so I think it'd be a good idea. Um, but other than that, pretty happy with today. I'm a little sore. I feel like I'm gonna be a little beat up tomorrow, but that's fine. YouTube videos on Tuesday don't normally happen, so I had to go hard. But uh, if you wanna get better at weightlifting, join the dog pack. We have a gold membership now where videos are posted on the exercises that walk you through what to focus on and stuff like that. Um, normal dog pack is the program. There's also auto regulation feature on the gold version. So say you walk into the gym and you feel really good and you wanna go heavy, there's an option for that. Say you feel like shit, there's an option for that. Say you feel normal, there's an option for that. That way you can kind of train by feel a little bit more. And uh, if you wanna get your legs strong, do the squat program I just did. And then I'm gonna start again on Monday. So if you wanna do it with me, link's down there too. I will see you guys next week.